Hey Bailey, Lulu. Cave music. So this is our first cave. We, we don't well. Let's not count the Narshi stuff. No, that's like intro stuff. This is like the first cave of the game. You know, in Final Fantasy IX, you had that ice cave, the ice cavern. That's your first cave of the game. In Final Fantasy IV, the mist cave, that's definitely the first cave. There's nothing like a Final Fantasy game and a first cave uh, to start you out. You know, nothing crazy or hard. Just, yeah, you know, recovery spring. There's a turtle, he's chilling, he's having some water. We're, ha we're having a good time, you know, in our first cave of the game. <coughs> Anyone else have a, a Final Fantasy cave example? Um... What's the first cave in Final Fantasy X? Ah, oh, the L buttons do it, okay. Magic all! Oh, right, I was, um... So this is Edgar. He uses a skill called Tools. And we have a couple things here. I purchased these, um... I purchased this... in, uh, Figaro Castle. Now, Terra's cast in Magic. That seems like that's her thing. She just gained a level. And she learned Poison Up. So, an, or, you know, like, Antidote. She can cure poison people who have been inflicted with poison. And what about Locke? He has his own unique um, ability as well. You know, he's a, he's a treasure hunter. He's a thief. He can steal. Uh, I haven't done it yet. <clears throat> now, the thing about Final Fantasy VI is all the characters who are going to be joining us in our party throughout our travels, they each have their own, like, unique ability. They're all different. I mean, everyone can fight, of course. You know, hit fight. Select fight, but, you know, tools, um, steel, um, I don't know, I don't want to give any away right now, um, you know, I don't want to give any others away, like steel, tools, whatever, this is supposed to be a spoiler-free walkthrough, so I'm just not going to get into it, and I am going to pillage and plunder all the treasures of this cave, of course, and, let me know, guys, in the stream if I ever miss anything, that's cool, so, you know, sometimes on purpose I may not be doing something correctly and I'm gonna not look at the stream on purpose cuz I'm gonna try and do it on my own or try and remember it on my own or figure it out on my own I don't know we'll see how it goes <clears throat> but yeah in Final Fantasy 6 every character has their own ability and it's kinda cool kinda cool we'll leave it at that for now just everyone you know Dark King 343 is wondering how a chocobo would taste I've asked that many a time, many a time on many Final Fantasy walkthroughs, probably a bunch in Final Fantasy X. Chocobos were kind of a big deal in Final Fantasy X, and, and you know, in Final Fantasy X, the graphics went to that PS2 level, and the chocobos went from, Final, you know, a chocobo in Final Fantasy IX to a chocobo in Final Fantasy X, and it was like, wow, look at the chocobos! <clears throat> They're looking like real animals now, aren't they? And it's like, you start to think. You start to wonder. And now we're stream grooving, in my opinion. Because I am. Right, guys? We are stream grooving. But you start to wonder, how does this taste? How, how would this animal taste? Like chicken? You know, because it's kind of like the chicken. But I'm going to say uh, kind of like chicken, but also, you know, kind of like turkey. And I don't know why. And I feel like there would be... Uh, the white meat and the dark... I, a chocobo... A chocobo would totally have white and dark meat. I don't know why, but it would. I mean... Doesn't... I mean... Usually all, you know... I mean, chicken, you got... You can get, like, dark meat on chicken, kind of, right? Yeah, well, it depends, I guess, on the chick... The kind of chicken you're eating. Um... <laughs> I'm not, like, Mr. Meats here. So, and this is just gonna go back. We found everything. We got everything over there. Let's go over here. Is there a secret passage? I'm gonna check out the stream. Oh, man! I forgot, Shadow Mark. Shadow Mark just said, Hey, Dave, don't you get better loot if you wait? to get the items out of the chest. So, like, leave leave the items be. Don't take the items out of the chest. You come back later, and they could be better. And you know what? Yeah, you're right, and I forgot. 
so you know what? I only got one, right? Eh. A lot of God. Look at these rocks. They're like, they're like maggots. But yeah, you're right, right? So that that is true. Um, you know, so I'll leave them be then. Trial and error. I think that's good for the sake of a stream and for people, I don't know, just in general. Mistakes are, it's good to witness uh, mistakes and deaths and stuff like that when you're watching a stream or a walkthrough, I think. Well, because, I mean, certain people play to better themselves when they play the game. Some people, you know, I, I kind of like to do a mixed a mixture of the two you know for, for those of you who don't really know me too well and there could be some of you who are watching me that you know just stumbled upon this without really knowing who Dave the Usher is all about but you know I do like to inform and if I know the game very well and you know I do know this game very well you know it's been several years and I don't know everything I know a lot but um, I like to throw in information about a game I know, you know, what does what. But I also like to give it some of my Dave personality, talk about, oh, don't open it, <laughs> talk about just my history with playing Final Fantasy games or just Final Fantasy VI in general or just whatever the hell I'm talking about, man, who knows. You know, I'm talking about, I was, before that, I was talking about what Chocobo might taste like. It maybe kind of like duck. Duck has like you know a distinct quality. It's a distinct meat. You know what I've eaten? I've eaten. I'm not kidding you. I've eaten peacock. I've eaten a peacock. Do you want to see me eat a peacock? <laughs> Some of you know what I'm talking about. Some of you may not. If you want to see me eat a peacock? Go to my playlists on YouTube, and I have um, a video called Dave's Exotic Foods, and you can see me eat. A whole, well, it's a whole peacock. It's prepared and cooked, but it's a whole peacock. And Tara just died. Um, this is what happens. I get distracted because I'm looking at the camera. You guys. But, yeah, that's me, by the way, in that video. Um, that's me. And I'm eating a peacock. Did you know I've eaten a peacock? Well, I'm about to knock your socks off, for those of you who don't know this. I've eaten much crazier than that, man. I've eaten zebra. Oh wait, let's get crazier. I've eaten lion. I have eaten the meat of an actual lion. No shitting. Ah <laughs> oh, man, uh, I'm st that's still kind of cool, but I was really excited about that. I am actually, I feel days away from doing another exotic meat video, by the way. Uh, this, is a, this is a random thing. I mean, I'm doing random battles. Let's talk about whatever, right? The last video I did, uh, what did I eat? I ate, um, oh man, I ate a guinea pig, which is delicious, by the way. It's it's kind of it, it has some duck quality, actually. It's extremely tasty. It's it has like the duck greasy factor. It's a lot greasier, you know. It's kind of a greasy, fatty meat, but in a good way. Guinea pig, or as uh, people in Peru call it, uh, cooey. Yeah. Uh, guinea pig is delicious, dude. It's really good. So that was a couple months ago. Uh, I'm on the verge of doing another video. And you know what? I'm going to tell you guys what it is. In my freezer right now, I have... What is it? A strip loin or a, a flat iron or something? It's kangaroo. Um, I've eaten kangaroo many times. Have I made a kangaroo video? Maybe in Vegas, when I was living in Vegas with my wife. What was that that we did there? That might have been kangaroo as well. But I'm going to do another one, and it's going to be kangaroo again, because I got it. Hopefully I can talk to my buddy, Anshu Patak, of Exotic Meat Markets. Uh, there's a website. You can just Google search that, you know. Um, I would like to get some more stuff, dude. But yeah, just go to YouTube, look through my playlist of exotic foods. I got a bunch of stuff there. Parrotfish, zebra, lion... Python. That was the first one, I believe. Alligator, guinea pig. What am I missing? Crocodile, uh, kangaroo. Might be missing stuff. You love me? I love you! 
Well, you know, of course, follow me on all the on, on all the fixins. Dave the Usher YouTube, Twitch, social media, Patreon. Uh, my wife and I just did an update video today uh, for Patreon people. Uh, <clears throat> we were just, well, you know, among other things, uh, we were talking about how we're going to start our, uh, well, it's pretty much my Super Mario World walkthrough because the Patreon goal for that was met recently. And I'm just, you know, I'm real excited about it. I've done a Mario World walkthrough before, but that was uh, a couple years back in. This is going to be fun. My wife isn't committed to it because it wasn't specified as a co-op, but I think she might join me, and we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes, and it could be a lot of fun. Okay, as you can see, there's a town here. That's South Figaro. Hold on, I want to listen to the overworld theme a little. But Ty, my wife, who's in the stream right now, Maybe if things go well, and Mario World is a lot of fun, maybe you could stick around, and we could do the whole thing. We'll see. But I'm not, you know, I'm not holding her to it. I'm not twisting her arm. I did. It was a couple years back. Is there an item hidden here? Oh, man, really? No. Okay, I'm wrong here, but... I'll be right at some point with um, a similar situation like that. Hmm. What's that smell? Do you like how I'm here and you can see me and I'm like really acting like I'm smelling something? It puts me in the, the mood for when I talk. These flowers. He always liked these. And yes, I do this when the webcam is turned off, when I'm just doing a RPG like Final Fantasy V currently, for instance. You gotta. It just helps you talk better when you're reading these people. These dishes. They're just like the ones he always used. Oh, oh are they? Are they, Edgar? What are we getting at here? What other can we find around here? Uh, other stuff we can find. Hmm, what, we gotta search. Hmm. This tea. It was his favorite. And this waste bucket. He always loved taking shits in this thing. Uh, no, I obtained a potion. You better watch out before sticking your hand in there. So, these dishes, this tea, um, flowers. Is there another one? Well. We can rest up. Everyone say hello to my wife. That's Ty. And, um, actually, my wife is going to be streaming Fallout 4. Um, I think maybe in a little bit or really soon so you know open a new tab with my wife Tyree says and follow her I'm sure a lot of you are in the fallout the fallout series the new fallout 4 uh, game that just came out so uh, yeah she's gonna be streaming that and it's gonna be awesome I know so yeah make sure you follow her on twitch as well okay I think that's it right am I missing one hey guys let me know in the uh, stream if I'm missing one and you just go to sleep here. I'm gonna say hello to the stream people. Hello. Yes, more meat! Yeah, we're gonna do more meat. I'm gonna defrost that thing. ASAP. I would like to do it this coming week. Shoot the video. Gotta defrost it. You didn't know I was doing FF5? Oh yeah, that is recent stuff. I got a playlist of it. Of course, I'm into the early 20s right now currently. And I'm having a lot of fun with the game. Could Sabin be living here? Sabin, he was here. Hello, old man. I'm gonna make him walk around. Hey. Do you happen to know where I could find the man who lives here? Mm-hmm. Sure do. Left a couple days ago. Soon as he heard Master Duncan had been killed. Headed up into the mountains. They say Duncan's son, Vargas, is missing, too. I don't like it one bit. Mm. No, beat him out! Beat him out! <laughs> I trapped him! Hey, Lulu, hey, Bailey. I trapped him! Because, well, at this point, you can get sprint shoes at the town. You can buy them. But originally, in the, or the original version, you could not run fast immediately. Oh, he doesn't say anything. So, all right, see you later, old man. Thank you, Dragonfire20, for posting 
uh, my wife's uh, Twitch link in the, uh, the stream. And you know what? I'm going to put that in the video description on YouTube as well. So I'm just going to give you a little tour of this area. Unseely. Unseely? What was the original name of this dude, Mr. Wrench Guy? Is, does anyone know the original name of this dude? The name is right there. I, I can remember it, but I, I just can't. I think I'm alright at reading, but I'm, uh, I'm kind of, of a perfectionist. Once again, this is a stream. I can't really correct my mistakes. But in Final Fantasy V, I correct every one of them. And this game kind of has thrown me off my RPG dialogue reading game a little bit. I just got to mellow out. So this is Mount Colts. But we're not ready for this yet, man. There's South Figaro to explore. Uh, this is the whole area right here. The best, uh, the best leveling up uh, that can be done before the mountains... After the cave, before the mountains, is right here, fighting these dudes. We got, uh, Squirrel Tail Guys, Mr. Wrench Dude, and, uh, Rhinox. Wasn't your original name Rhinox? Maybe this one, there's, like, this Rhino Dude monster, and, like, a recolored one later. Eh. And I don't know which one it was, the before or after one, but one of them was named Rhinox. And, uh... Uh, oh, in the back, I don't think. Yeah, like right there. <laughs> oh, you can't see it. Uh, right behind me, you can't really, I'm gonna get killed. Right behind me is a Beast Wars Transformers figure, Rhinox, actually, two of them. I actually had those signed by Richard Newman recently, uh, my wife and I, and Bailey, not Lulu, she wasn't part of the team yet, really. We went to uh, Canada, a convention called PFCon. And, uh, yeah, TFCon 2015 in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. And, uh, yeah, a couple people. Peter Cullen was there, Optimus Prime. Uh, Richard Newman was there. John Machida Jr. was there. And someone else was there. His name escapes me, and it really ticks me off that I can't remember his name. But I had Richard Newman sign a couple of things. As an example, I just wanted to whip something out. There's a Rhinox. Hey, I love pulling this crap out because I'm a collector. It's, it's part of who I am. I'm going to get killed. I'm going to get killed, man. Rhinox. Oh, Richard Newman is an awesome guy. Oh, my God. I need to do something here. All right, no more distract. I promise not to get distracted, okay? I promise not to get distracted anymore here. Um, Locke might get killed. But I, I'm gonna be fine. I know, I know, I'm getting... The Wrench Guy! Repo Man, that's his name! Thank you, Shadow Mark. Um... Should use fire, really. Wow. Boo. You're a new name, too. Um... Jesus Christ! Terra gained a level, Locke gained a level. Sorry, Edgar. Um, okay. It's good. It's okay. Now, sleeping bags uh, fully restores... I know, I need to start concentrating. Fully bags restore HP and MP. Not bring them... Not from the dead. Um, but a tent can... Can it? I'm not going to use it because they're expensive and... I, see, I'm I'm a little nervous about walking from where I am currently to the town. Okay, no more random battles. Hey, hey, you! Where are you going? I'm, I don't know why, but I'm following this guy. He looks like a suspicious character. Hmm. Okay, this is. Oh boy, this is South Figaro. Did I like Final Fantasy XIII? Um. Not really, 13-2, not really even more, 13-3, let's just call it 13-3, not really even more more. They were kind of like trash. I didn't really like the, the 13 trilogy. I'm sorry, but I didn't. Oh yeah, you know, there are some Chocobo 
stables, ranches, whatever, at some towns. But once again, I wouldn't use them too much at the towns. This is a chocobo stable. Say wark. Thank you. Chocobo poop. 80 gil for a chocobo ride. How about it? No, no, no. Yeah, someone's saying, uh, Dark King's saying, I hate when my party levels, my party members are a different level, it makes me mad. I totally agree with you on that. Um, but here's the thing. With the way this game starts out, Terra's a little weaker than Locke, Locke's a little weaker than Edgar. So as you can see, yeah, Terra, I mean, Edgar missed out on that battle, but it's, it's Terra who's still behind. Now, I am a nut job and an, um, I'm, I'm just a nut when it comes to having my characters at the same level, too. I'm totally there with you. For next level, 628, 651, like, they're pretty much the same. They're pretty much the same. <clears throat> and I, I like certain people to have more HP than others, sometimes. And when I was a little kid, I'm really weird. I like I liked Locke the most, so I would want Locke to have... Just a little more HP than Edgar, because, well, really, Edgar has a little more HP than Locke, just in general. Hey, Dave the Usher, hello to you, Bad Request 21. 21's my lucky number, I was married on the 21st, and today is November 21st, and my wife and I are celebrating our 8-month anniversary. I surprised her with uh, pre-order tickets to the new Star Wars film, because she's a Star Wars fanatic. Okay, what I'm going to do now is, sorry guys, I'm not going to look at the chat right now, because it's time to explore this town. Okay, we got to get some town exploring done, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so I'm going to I'm gonna cover this place in and out. Oh, we can't go under the bridge right there. I am going to explore this place in and out fully and completely right here and right now. And I, I believe so. Oh, if, if I can't remember. Hopefully I can remember everything. I don't know if I have the gill for everything, and after I do call it a wrap for this stream, I am going to level up, get some gill, you know, a little bit beyond Mount Colts, lie the Saber Mountains. Is it always called that? Ah, uh, just, just about every town in Final Fantasy VI has the port, and in the port is the ship with the two guys, one of them always looking to, to the left or that way, and... Uh, uh. It's just funny. This ship isn't going anywhere. Oh, you're not from this land, are you? Uh, ship people, they travel. This ship isn't going anywhere. They're from New York. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know these accent accents I do sometimes. They got people have to sound different. You know? Um the pub's right there. You want to go in the pub now? Let's go into the pub now, okay? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Good pub music? Ah, Duncan's been training his boy Vargas along with his other students. He's always grumbling about how the kid never seems to be making any progress. And, yeah, they only say one bit of dialogue. This is Final Fantasy VI, it's in Final Fantasy VII, that started to change. Unless events happen and occur, then, you know, these people will say something different. Uh, hello, little girl. Huh? Kids aren't allowed in here? Okay, okay, fine. Shoo! Scat, kid! You're too young! What do you think? Oh, all right. Ah, you look just like that student of Duncan's. That man at the counter's got a nasty look about him. I hear the Empire has been invading one town after another. I wonder how safe we are in South Figaro. So then the little girl eventually runs out. And it's funny, because this is a pub or a bar and people are boozing it up. Get out of the way, old man! I don't think our items ever in credenzas like that or yeah I wish you could change the music like Chrono Trigger style I love that game did two walkthroughs of that nowadays if you want to watch a Chrono Trigger walkthrough of mine I totally suge uh, suggest my PlayStation version uh, 
Uh, right. Ignore us and maybe we'll just disappear. <clears throat> Back off, Locke. That guy looks familiar. Yeah, that's him, all right. Introducing fan favorite. He comes and goes like the wind, swearing allegiance to no one. Hidden behind his wintry gaze lies a face known to none who live. Shadow. That's Shadow. He's an assassin. He'd kill his own best friend for the right price. Guess we'd better steer clear of him. Mm. And I once heard a rumor that he slit his mother's throat for a nickel, or what was it? Mm. Leave us. The dog eats strangers. Oh, how would you sound, Shadow? I, you know, to this day, I don't know how... I don't know, still don't know how Shadow would sound. Would he have, like, a... Like a deep quiet. Quiet, deep, and calm. Leave us. The dog eats strangers. Maybe like uh, when I voiced Amarant. Amarant in Final Fantasy IX. And you know what's funny? We can't talk to this bartender guy. For now, and maybe way later. I think we can. Maybe... But we can't talk to that guy, and that always bugged me because I'm crazy, remember? Why can't I talk to that guy? Because you can't. Uh, <laughs> let's climb in the bed with this person. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Alright, let's have a snuggle. Figaro Castle stood up to the Empire? Oh, great. Now we'll be drawn into this. Yeah, so, I mean, this is South Figaro, and I was saying how Figaro doesn't have that town right next to it, but, well, this is South Figaro. Does that mean there's a North Figaro or whatever? No. But, you know, this is kind of part of Figaro. You just gotta get through the mountains and the cave and whatever. Rooms are 80 gil per night. Will you be staying? No. No, Lulu. No. Oh, sorry. Good girl. I don't want to send you mixed signals that you did something wrong because you are being a good dog. Uh, elixir is not in those clocks. Those are too small. And if you touch the fire, nothing happens, unfortunately. It's not too hot or whatever. We're going to go down these stairs. <clears throat> ah, and we can just talk to that guy without encountering you at all, Mr. Merchant. You can gain all kinds of abilities by equipping relics. These shoes double my walking speed. Mog? Relics can grant you a variety of abilities. For example, sprint shoes double your walking speed. A gauntlet lets you hold a weapon with both hands to increase damage. The Knight's Code makes you shield others in combat. Dragoon Boots allows you to perform a jump attack. A person can equip up to two relics at the same time, and they rule. I'll see you later. Hey, Lulu. One sec. Hey, girl, did I get you all? Did I work you up? Did I work you up? I know we got whoa, dog cam going on, but there's no rule state you can't join me on this cam, right? You're a, you're a wriggly one. Bailey is the lap dog. You are a little bit on the wriggly, the wriggly side, wriggling around. But you want to maybe sit on my lap, or... I know you, she is, she, she's like a cat too, you know, like, uh, or a lap dog, really. She gets all nice and into a ball and 